Welcome back. We're joined now by independent councillor Manix Flynn on his objections to plans to turn College Green into a traffic flea plaza. And Fine Gael councillor Paddy Smith is staying with us. I think we'll get the picture up now of what the artist's impression of what College Green is going to look like. There it is. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? Glorious sunny day, children running around, lots of bikes and no danger of getting knocked down by buses or cars. Who wouldn't want that? Well, as I say, like, you know, most people would want a plaza and certainly most people would want, you know, to die for a public uh, transport system. But what are we getting? We're getting a pig in a poke here. Most people in relation to this particular plaza, including the businesses, are really concerned that it's going to impact negatively on the economy of the city. Those who want to actually move about the city are deeply concerned about the impact it's going to have on, on basically pedestrian movement. Because as I say, from a board Pernola this morning, Dublin City Council have intentions to turn the whole place into some sort of venue, so you won't be able to get across it in many, many ways. So what do you have you got here? You've got, you've got a donut in the middle of the city. They don't manage uh, uh, this midfield plaza. They don't manage the boardwalk. They don't manage Temple Bar Square, not Temple Bar Meeting House Square. They have no expertise. That this morning on board Pernola, they showed us photographs of all around the world of how plazas work in, in Australia, how they work in, in Italy, but they never showed us actually how they're going to deal with the one in Dublin. So there's huge concerns about this. This is going to cost 10 million euros when you can't get a window fix in a social house in Dublin, when there are people lying on trolleys when it's absolutely unnecessary and the other end of the day is who's going to police this who's going to look at it and as i say there is grave concern i have no doubt about it matt people do want some place where they can relax they have saying stevens green open in the daytime expand it but this particular place as i said is going to be a hive of anti-social behavior and it's unnecessary see paddy that's interesting because the anti-social behavior in all those other locations mentioned by mannix is a reality and also look at the mess we have with the relation to the cross city lewis which is actually going at less than walking speed as it goes across and all the disruption it's causing. If that can't work properly, how could we trust this? Yeah, I think the, the policing issues, the antisocial issues, you know, it's a defeatist attitude. I mean, these, these aren't you know, insurmountable. Have you been down the boardwalk recently? I, I have. And, and it, and it, and it, and it, it is a defeatist. We, 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 can, we can police a, a space this Not true. in the city. Okay. Now, look, the, the fact is, you know, we are, we are uh, getting this, this civic space back by default. We're at the Lewis Cross City that you mentioned before necessitates prohibiting east-west uh, uh, movements of, of traffic uh, uh, in College Green. Okay, so, so we're getting this civic uh, space back for the pedestrians because otherwise if we don't, the f near 400 million euros that we spent on the Lewis uh, will effectively go down the drain. It'll be an inefficient service. So we have to do this. But what are we getting back? We're getting uh, one of the finest neoclassical uh, civic spaces in the whole of Europe back. For the, for the enjoyment of the people of Dublin. And it's, it'll be, it'll be Paddy, a huge boom. on public transport alone, yeah. forget your cars, sure. one third of all Dublin buses go through that key artery. Yeah. You are going to sever it. Yeah, and, and, and that's probably a problem in itself. I mean, concentrating, I think 300 buses alone go to College Street, not just College Street, but College Street alone. So that, that's, a, that's an inc incredible intensification of, of, of the bus. So that no, no wonder we get back, backlogs in, uh, in, in the buses there. So, so dispersing that a little bit. Uh, Sorry, the, why, the, did no, it, why did but, nobody sort that out but, before but, the Lewis Cross City? But, but, but again, to, to go, to, just to come in there, in terms of this Come business on. of dispersal or rerouting, 1,500 buses down Parliament Street is completely nuts. Two trains running down by College Green, nine carriages each every 90 seconds. In Dame Street itself, Double-decker buses, diesel double-decker buses doing a U-turn. How green is that? And in the meantime, we're all meant to sit in this plaza licking ice creams and enjoying yeah. the sunshine. I mean, Let I mean, me just tell you, it doesn't work. And no matter what way you look at it, what's going to happen here is all we're doing is creating a continuity with Dunleary. Own Keegan is going to leave us a hole, basically in the middle of the city, where everybody's going to be looking around us and thinking, do you honestly believe that people are going to go to the plaza as a destination? Paddy, it's yeah, not look, going I mean, to look, I mean, what we have here is just a classic status quo buy. Okay, imagine the, the city fathers that, 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 that preceded myself and Mannix and our colleagues by 100 years or so had, had, they had the foresight to prevent the vehicularisation of uh, College Green in the first place and it was still a green and we still had this amazing neoclassical civic space. If I came to you and said I want to put a dual carriageway through this space now, I'd be laughed out of town. Just like we're not proposing that we put a it's road It's about through. planning, it's about planning and Dublin City Council, we are both councillors, didn't plan this out properly so what they're doing is they're basically shoving loads, large volume of traffic into the small 
smaller streets. And nobody's happy with this particular process. If you were out on board Panola this morning, it was like almost chaos what was going on here. On the one hand, you're Dublin City Council announcing a big dream to die for plaza. It was like literally like, you know, you closed yourself and set and it was like a, some sort of a kind of bedtime story. But the reality of it is, the reality of it is that we don't have any expertise. And even to manage a small area, like for instance, a small area like Dublin City Council's own kind of hole in the ground, the one in the Civic Plaza there, the, the atrium, it's almost impossible. On Garda Khan are very, very, very busy indeed. And yeah, not George, only George, that, George, see, Paddy, yeah. is that not the point? That right. A lot of people are texting my radio programme today mm -hmm. saying, instead of a fountain, you'll have a public urinal. And that, you know, the track record of these things, when you actually look at it, something like the, the, the grass and flowers and lovely area in St. Stephen's Green, mm -hmm. Merrion Square. Yeah. Like, if you really want some areas, there's some beautiful parts of Dublin. Well, well, there are. I think the people of Dublin deserve more as well. I mean, this, this happens every time this is done around the world. New York City in, in, in Times Square, where it's the, the, uh, the pedestrianisation of Narrow City Centre, wherever it's done around the world, the, the vested interests that are around there uh, say that the sky is going to fall in if we... Oh, if no, this no, is not New York. Square has a metro, it's underground going around, so you sure. can get off the tubes, sure. you can walk up very easily. You don't have what's going to happen here, as the businesses are complaining about, walks of 500 metres of a kilometre from the bus to get to where you want to get in the city centre. You, you look, just to bring a point if you look at Grafton Street now, or even Henry Street, the, the day for pedestrianised of yes. those areas, Amazing what's happening there? What's happening now? You're going to the same, same, same issue. Eight o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning till one o'clock in the in the daytime. That place is literally like an autobahn with all the deliveries. It's a nightmare. The, the whole fabric of it. You don't know what's the coming. The same down. objections it, were made. The Grafton no, Street the, and actually Henry, Gra Henry Street Gra pedestrian. Should we reverse Gra them? Grafton Street is not a plaza. Grafton Street is a pedestrianised area. What you're trying to create here in uh, College Green is a plaza that has to be created because the Lewis is crossing at one end of it and there's buses doing a U-turn at the other end. In the meantime, Outside of those areas, you're, you're, you're creating a poisonous atmosphere with poisonous buses spewing out fumes left, right, and centre. And also, the These economic, are in eco the city anyway. the economic, yeah, but they're diesel. The economic, the economic Dirty. impact on people who are on the lower scale of economics will be catastrophic. Paddy, the convince us. The Paddy, convince us this is a good idea. It's not you? a good idea. It's but let not him, a good let idea. Try to okay, us. okay. The, the fact is, we, we don't have enough uh, uh, civic space in the city for the pedestrian. We have. Okay, okay, we, we have a, a city that is practically dedicated almost entirely to the we, private We have a city that's and, mismanaged. Uh, okay, and... Uh, Just let him have a go. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay um, and if we can deliver this, okay, it, it'll, it'll open up a, a pedestrian spine from Grafton Street through College Green, Westmoreland Street, uh, and, and, and up into O'Connell Street. Uh, it'll be a huge boom for the city. Is this not a hidden agenda for cyclists? No, I mean, and this has been brought up again, that, uh, again by, 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 some, the some, by some of the, some of the commentators that there's, there's a cycling agenda in Dublin City Council. There's an efficiency agenda in Dublin City Council. We have, we have several modes of transport in, 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 in the city. We have, we have feet, we have cycled, we, we have uh, public transport, and we have car and motorway. But the, the former ones are, are orders of magnitude uh, more efficient than the private motor car. So it's just an efficiency agenda. We have a job of, of getting hundreds of thousands of people into the city in the morning and hundreds of thousands of people out. And, and the most efficient way to do that is public transport, cycling and I'm going to make it a catastrophic mess of it. Tonight, the Lewis broke down, blocking all the traffic moving down by the quays. In relation Which proves to the, what? In, it proves that it breaks down and they're going to stop the city in its tracks. Here you have a plaza in the middle of the city. OK, even the cyclists are actually complaining about this particular issue. But what you have is, is that you have a situation where you're using the language about civic spines that it's going to connect into the, uh, the, 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 the cultural plaza up at, uh, at, at Parnell Square. It's all pie in the sky. It's all nonsense, as I say. The small, isn't the small, it there. is pie in the sky. No, it's, it's, it's at the top of a the college. Hundred million, in the sky. Yeah, the, the, the cultural quarter up there is pie in the sky. The, the new library is a pie in the sky because they're going to need 150 million euros for it. If you cannot manage a small space in Temple Bar, which is Temple Bar Square, which has the umbrellas, which is lying empty, how are you going to possibly manage a big Thank square? Thank you very much. Like both of you. It's Stay with us. We'll have a first look at tomorrow morning's front pages of the newspapers after the break.